coming of age. She is. She's coming of age, and she even said, you know, the only, and she says it actually in the scene that we are now at. Doesn't she say, um, sir, I grew up in a nunnery. All I know is from books. Mm -hmm. So the only type of book that explains what she's going through as a woman is the Marquis novel. What Justine. Was it? Justine. 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 Yeah. Justine. Yes. There is a film. Called Justine. Yeah, that's, there are a couple movies that are based, based on the, off of his shit. the Marquis books. Oh God, we're looking for them. Yeah, they're pretty, um, some of them are pretty horrific and some are not bad. So she gets one of his, one of Marquis' books and she hides it in the binder of another book. The so, poems yeah, that so, she was reading. Yeah, yeah, so Michael Caine doesn't know what she's reading. Mm -hmm. So that starts her little adventure. Adventure and growth that I Womanhood. love in this. Yes. Because a lot of people don't think so, but some people believe the Marquis' book had a lot, a lot to do with women's sexual freedom. Mm. And I think that's another reason that I love this movie because I, I hate Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Because I used to love it growing up and back in back in my day um, Cosmopolitan the articles were always about how to pleasure him you are so fucking right yeah. how to get him to love you how to get him to it was all and that's how I thought you had to create a relationship mm. and I never thought well what about me what about my desires what about my you know curiosities and it, it has to go both ways yeah. and I believe this when I saw this movie it was around that time that I was starting to really learn myself as a woman not just physically but also emotionally mm -hmm. and her character I really saw myself in her yeah. you know not knowing anything and being told the wrong thing and finding something that not everyone's going to understand but she was able to become her true self because of his because of the book novel. Yeah. yeah so okay moving on Marquis desperate because he yeah. he does not know what to do because he he has to write he calls it I need. I have these demons, and I got to get them out on paper. What am I going to do? Yeah. He bashes his head because apparently he still has a mirror. They didn't get rid of everything. Yeah. And he uses the chips of the mirror. Yeah, mm -hmm. He cuts himself. And he uses the blood as ink. He uses his blood as ink. He uses his ink. tiny piece of mirror as a pen, quill, and he writes all over his clothes. Yes, which so how fortunate that his, his entire <laughs> wardrobe was white. Yeah. Right. <laughs> It's oh, like God. they were if telling us the whole time if that he didn't that. do that on purpose. Yeah, it all starts right here on the right cleft, goes yes. all the way into the back. Ooh, and an, uh, another fun fact: the writing that was on the bed sheets and his clothes, mm -hmm. they were all parts of the script of the movie that were cut. Oh, ah. yeah, I found that really, really interesting. That actually is interesting. So Madeline goes to see Marquis. His fingers are just destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah. He used I, I'm sure he used part of his clothing to stop the bleeding, but he used every single finger to write all over his clothing. Yeah. Kate Winslet opens the door so she can see what he's written and she's kind of reading everything. And uh Marquis escapes. Yeah, he gets out. He yeah. goes into the everybody's eating lunch and he goes to lunch and he just walks in and just says, Look what I have brought for you, my Darlings. He was, it was like a fashion show yeah, for him. Yeah, walking all over the table and everybody's having a hell they of a time. They were loving it. Yeah, the inmates. A <laughs> chapter for each yes. cheek. Yes. Caressing his, his butt ass. so, so lovely. And then uh, Michael Caine storms in. Get that beast back in his cage. Yeah, because, well, the Marquis almost faints because he had so much blood loss from writing. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And then he uh, gets him and he says a very wonderful line. Wonderful line. He says, uh, uh, Michael Caine says, I'm not going to sully my hands yeah. with you. And he says, oh, how right for you are. It was like, uh, what did he say? How, uh, how that, That's how yeah. politics politics are, isn't it? You know, you'll you'll write the execution, but you won't drop the blade. Yeah. Or says some shit like that. Yeah. And it's so true. It's Very like true. you will it, pe people of power, people like that, they will write the laws. Write off the laws, but they won't execute it. Yeah. They themselves will not execute it. It's kind of similar to our movie last time, Conan. We were talking about yeah. James Earl Jones' character. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, that, that bitch, 
the bird oh, woman. Oh, the redhead harpy She bitch. saw Madeline open the door yeah. and tells Michael Caine. And poor Madeline gets punished. Yeah, she gets She gets whipped, whipped in the back. Mm-hmm. And Abby, you, you start to learn Joaquin Phoenix's character. It has a love with Is in love with Madeline. Yeah. Everyone is. Yeah. Like, everyone is. But I was a, a little... Con- she's a sweet girl. She's innocent. But she's also... She's, she's like the face of innocence. But also, she's got that little side that just like Michael Caine's wife has you know they're, they're two kind of the same where they, yeah. they're they interested in more because she's a virgin she in is the movie. yes she's a virgin and she's they, well, how old do you think they were trying to portray Kate Winslet I'm not even gonna fucking go there because I know how old the real Madeline is I bet or was I bet the real Madeline was probably like 15 13 holy shit and Marquis apparently did do something have his way with her hmm. but the real Marquis his wife it was his second wife and their daughter lived in the asylum with him oh. in yeah but in not the room? in yeah in the real asylum but not not in the film oh. but back to it Abbe tries to stop Madeline from getting whipped and he says the only blood you'll shed and he takes, he off, takes his, off his shit it's mine yeah. and Michael Caine he just so perfectly I mean I hate him but just embarrasses the shit out of Abbe be a martyr for God Abbe not for some serving girl mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. Shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put your clothes back on. Then everybody Abbey. starts laughing. Everyone's at him. laughing. Yeah. Everyone is laughing. Yeah. At him. He just did this noble thing mm-hmm. for a woman. He just Michael Caine just turned the tide on him. And it and it does kind of. It looks like at that moment, Joaquin Phoenix is starting to lose the asylum. Yeah. It just seems like there's a shift that everyone's starting to not be on his side mm-hmm. as much anymore. Like, where is it going to go from there? He's becoming I- isolated. I think. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we want to talk about when Joaquin and uh, Kate Winslet that are in the room together while she's getting... You know oh, what? you do want to talk about I this. I did. Yeah. I did want to talk about that. So, but this will tie into the end. Yeah. To what I pointed out to you before we started recording. So, when she's derobing and she's got all the shit all over her back. Yeah, she's getting treated for her... Wounds. Wounds. He's talking to her and she's saying, you know, she was like... Well, he asked, why Why were you... Why so were you, infatuated. Why are you, with, yeah, why were you so infatuated with the books? You should have come to confession. Like, you should have come to me when you were dealing with anything. Yeah. Why did you go to the marquee? Yeah. And Could she be was, a hint of jealousy. Right. And she was saying that... She puts herself in his in stories. His novels. She yeah. puts herself in that spot. Because I can be bad in his novels, but I'm good in real life. Yeah. Is pretty much what she was saying. She can live that lust life in his books and still be her on the outside. Exactly. Be pure, be virgin mm-hmm. ass. And that was really interesting for me. I was like, huh. Like, holy shit. True. <laughs> and he's just sitting there, Abbe, he's just like, I, I, I don't understand. Number one, worst fucking priest in the whole movie. <laughs> he says hell in the beginning of the film. Number one, he's like, Abbe, a hint of wine. Abbe, would you like a hint of wine? And he just comes in and he goes, hell, it's not even noon. Oh. And I'm over here like, oh, oh, worst priest. (laughs) I was going to say, did he? Your shit. I thought, oh, did he say hell like a place? No, it was just hell. It's not even noon. Maybe that was a walking thing. It I'm could sure be, it or it could be Abby's way of talking to the Marquis like he is. Like, like they were saying. Like ah. they were friends. Yeah, like, oh, hey, yeah. Oh, I, you ah. know, I, I listened to you while you, you know, with your wine and your vulgarity. And I talk vulgar back. Yeah, yeah he did. Okay. Yeah. He tried to get on to right. Marquis level. Yeah, thank you for uh, throwing that in my direction. But I, I just thought of it. Yeah, no, well. Just I, now. No, it makes sense now. Because I was like, what the fuck? Another good reason why I love this movie, as many times as I've watched it. It shows the humanity. Well, no, I learn new things. Yeah. I learn new things. Yeah. So that, she has that moment, and then she leaves. And this bugs the shit out of me. She leaves. Mm -hmm. Abby runs out and is all like, Madeline, Madeline. And here's Harpy Bitch turning around. you're skipping a part. What part? Oh, you're right. I did. I skipped a part. What did I skip? You know this better than I Yeah, Madeline comes to see Abby. Abby because Michael Caine wants to ship her to another place. That's right. Yes. Okay. And of course she doesn't want to leave because she's been there all her life. Right. And her mother's there. So she just like begs Abby like, please, like, don't send me away, Abby. Mm-hmm. And they have a little moment where they kiss. Yep. And he pushes her he away. Push, he pushes her away because he says, I love you with the pause mm-hmm. as a child of God. Like he corrected himself because I, he, he loves her for sure. Yeah, he loves her. Yeah. But he turned it back around. Oh, as a child of God, I love you. So she leaves. He, I don't know what he was thinking 
to himself because he leaves his room and he sees who he thought was Madeline. It was this harpy bitch. Yeah. Yeah. And she does that like so stare. So he sees of, harpy oh. bitch and she just turns and looks. And this is what annoyed me. Every fucking time he saw harpy bitch, he would say Madeline. She looks absolutely nothing like Kate Winslet. Maybe from or behind. Or Madeline. No. No, I don't know. No. Kate, when, Madeline, number one, had a little meat on her bunk. She had yeah. she had that perfect curve. She had the wonderful hours. This harpy bitch is skinny. Toothpick. Toothpick, nasty harpy looking. Okay? And she had that bright orange hair, whatever it was. I'm pretty sure Madeline had bright hair. Little. Brown hair. I don't think she was a ginger at all. I would I would say there was a hint. Like a I light think, brown, I think they maybe. Tri- maybe tried to show a little bit of a uh, similar color. If anything... She looked more like Nympho Girl. Okay. In my Nympho opinion. Had Nympho more... Girl was still a twig herself, but... Yeah, well, she had some She at least some had assets. the same ha- hair color. No, she had dark hair like me. But still, to my point, I just didn't like that. You I, didn't I was, like that. That's I was fine. literally like, dude, you fucking have this fatuation for Madeline that you... you should know every should know every curve, every inch, every color, everything gray hair, whatever she's got. Who knows? Yeah. Like, you should know everything about her. But don't, don't sit here and play this 12-year-old boy looking to play at fucking first time love. Mm. Like, dear God, still. Speaking of the next scene, we see some flirtation going on between Michael Caine's child bride and the architect, who is young, yeah. strapping, yeah, good looking, except for those... The goofy... Uh, what are the, what, the goofy sideburns he's yeah. got going well, on? Well, that was at the time, though, man. Yeah. That sharp line under the... Sideburns. Yeah. It was at the time. I mean, not a lot of guys had them, but a lot of guys did. I mean, you mm-hmm. see them... I, I'm pretty sure you, you you see them in, like, other movies such as, like, Les Mis. I do believe that those were in style at one point. But I love these two. You know what? Yeah, I was really intrigued by the two. And I did. It it, ta- it takes you back to your young first time. Yeah. It, flirting yeah. and... Flirting, doing that, you know. Are you a literary man? Are you a literary man? Do you like books? And she gives him the book and he sees what the book is. And he's just like, Madam... <laughs> turns and How sees could you Michael read? Kane. That was goofy to me in a way because it was like number one he's all like afraid and he's like oh my god and he's looking and he's like can't let him see this and then she turns around and is just like well I could use a tutor. So it went from being afraid of Michael Kane from seeing her to now I don't give a flying fuck I'm about to get my yes. uh, wick dip. Yeah well because he said there comes a time when women shouldn't read such things and learn from experience. Yeah he does say that. So Because she says I've memorized I've it. Memorized. Yeah, and that turns him on, and he goes, well, that, my dear, requires a proper teacher. Yeah. After so that, that had... well, what do you, here's a question for you. Okay. With Madeline. Yes. What do you think her, in, I don't want to say either, maybe like intentions, or who do you think she was, what, do you think she was in love with any of these men that loved her? Abby, the marquee printing guy on the horse that she would exchange the chapters with. You know, I'm not going to say say that she was in love with anyone mm-hmm. I'm finding it more of a fascination that's what I would say what I got from it I got a she's she's coming of age she's starting to feel these feels and obviously Kate Winslet is a lot older but they were obviously trying to portray her young but she's she's most likely she's coming of age she's getting those feelings she's feeling the electricity if you will each one of these men like with the marquee she's getting that excitement of sex, of mm. passion, of all of that with the writer guy. Mm-hmm. The excitement of, oh, this is a guy that I could just ride away with mm-hmm. and Adventure. leave everything behind. Adventure. And then Abbe would be like probably her uh almost like i think she was fascinated by him in a way it was almost like because they both were new yeah his innocence to the experience the innocence yeah yeah, yeah ex- break their innocence together. together i think that that share the virgin get their flower broke yeah, yeah. and there was also that forbidden Wound. thing because he is a priest and they're not supposed to exactly. engage in any yes. type of sexual activity interesting mm-hmm. but yeah that was my question and i i, I agree 
There was a, a time where I thought she, I don't know, let me see if this might get your fancy up. What if Madeline used the characters in Marquis's book to manipulate Abby, to get him to favor her and don't hmm. send me away, Abby. You mean like she was using the seduction mm -hmm. or something? Yeah. That is interesting. Some, yeah, that's Something interesting. to contemplate. Well, yeah. That it, yeah. Mm -hmm. You don't need to answer. I'm just, something that I've always wondered. I think that's, it's, yeah, I think that's a very interesting. And we'll never know. And I think that that'll have to do with theories, perspective, and how they see her character. I like it. So, oh, the, the goodbye letter. The goodbye letter. The goodbye oh, letter. Oh, goodbye. That She's scene. sucking him off. Oh, my God. You go straight to the, the meat here. Well, yeah. Let's, can we, like, set the tone a okay, minute? Okay, he's reading a because, book. See, okay, there you go. He's you know, reading a letter. Well, we're talking about the architect. Bill. And the child bride. Yeah.